Hello everyone! It's been a while since I've done an unboxing video. It seems a little bit odd because I've actually purchased quite a few weapons uh, in the past couple months, but I just kind of quit on uh, doing these unboxing videos. And I figure I might as well get back into it because some people really enjoy it. And I always kind of struggle because I want to do it as a first impression, but I feel like when I do first impressions, I kind of ruin reviews. I don't really want to do reviews of the weapons. Um, and, and on top of all that, it's kind of hard to always keep a surprise because if I don't say what I'm unboxing, then people don't really click the video and they don't really know if they're going to have an interest and they don't want to sit here and listen to me talk like I'm doing right now. So I'll start unboxing. Um, but people just, I don't, I don't think it's nearly as much of a draw as it needs to be. So here's the deal. I am going to continue to say what I am unboxing in the description. Uh, I'm going to give my first impressions on it, um, kind of like I've been doing. At the end of the day, I, I do these unboxing videos because it's pretty easy content for me. If my viewer base decides that this isn't what you want, let me know. Give me the feedback. Uh, I honestly think most people do enjoy it. And I picked this one up, uh, this sword up. Mostly because I don't have, well then, I don't have enough gladiuses in my collection. I really only have one that's properly made. I have another one that is uh, a really bad wall hanger version. Uh, and the one that I do have, I never bothered to sharpen. Uh, but I got this one pre-sharpened, so I don't really have to worry about it. And uh, I don't really care enough about gladius. Uh, to, I guess, what's the word, to really care about getting a really, really nice one. Although I do enjoy Roman history, um, I think the representation on a more low-end budget style is perfectly fine for me. So, this is a windless gladius. Let's get all this unboxed here. Uh, and it's the mains gladius. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm assuming that I am, but inevitably someone's going to tell me that I'm not. Um, and I really like the look of it. I honestly waited for it to go on sale forever, and they never did. Uh, they did all the other Gladius, but I really like this one because of the handle design. So, oh look, a Certificate of Authenticity. I didn't even know that was a thing they did with these types of swords. So, we'll get this paper undone, and we'll take a look at it. And, uh, yeah, so one of the things I've been kind of having a maybe a bit of a burgeoning interest in is doing some recreation type activities. Uh, and Roman recreations uh, done through many different groups uh, seem rather interesting to me. Uh, by the way, I think this is one of the nicer designs for uh, the scabbards, for the Roman scabbards that Windless has done. It's a little bit more unique. Um, I think it looks a little bit more ornate and yet still pretty simple, which I like. And then here is the glass itself. It again is sharpened, so I'm being very careful while taking all this apart. I'm going to open it this way though, so I don't get oil on the handle and the grip. Best I possibly can, there we go. All right. And of course, it's got a ton of oil on it. So we'll just use this paper here to wipe some of this grease off. And I'll do a better job with an actual cloth at some future time. There we go. But here it is. This is the Gladius. Uh, you know, one of the things I really enjoy about a Gladius design is it is one of the most distilled and simple sword designs. Um, in terms of its pure function in a battlefield scenario, uh, the Romans really knew what they were doing, and they didn't need much more than this. Uh, you know, it's not, it's more of a thrusting weapon, um, but it has the ability to do cuts, and with the short size of it, it seems like an ultra-mobile, uh, sword. Uh, something that I would say, generally speaking, the shorter a sword gets, the less, uh, less skill necessary. I think everyone knows how to use a machete, but not everyone knows how to use a longsword in a way that's effective. 
And uh, that's kind of the beauty of a Roman sword because, well, they would just get people, they would go conquer a nation and then make that nation part of the Roman Empire and immediately turn them around and turn them into soldiers to go fight the next empire. And they didn't always have people who were trained soldiers or didn't always have people who uh, would have as much training as would potentially be necessary, um, but they could be trained well enough to do very specific things and be part of you know, a Roman legion. Uh, and the thing that I said I really like about this sword blade, or this sword specifically, is actually the grip here. Um, I think this is actually, I'm not entirely certain, I'm pretty sure it's like a faux ivory. Well, I mean, it's definitely not a real ivory, um, but it's not any real bone. Um, but it is kind of this faux ivory. But the, the idea of an ivory-handled sword is, uh, well, modern age is a little bit despicable, but in, in Roman era, it would have been a thing of real beauty uh, and really a fascinating item. And I love the the way that it kind of pairs with the dark wood of the grip. Um, probably my overall one of my, my favorite general designs for uh, a gladius. And I think it actually reminds me a little bit maybe of the sword that is used in the movie Gladiator. Uh, I, I don't really remember what that one looks like. You know, even though it's one of my favorite movies, I, I seem to remember it kind of looks a little bit like this, the sword that Maximus uses. Um... But it's windless, so windless makes uh, the kind of bare bones functional swords. Um, you know, proper steel in this case, not like an iron. Um, but it's a proper high carbon steel. Uh, in this case, it is sharpened. It's got a pretty, it felt like it got a pretty fine sharpening to it because when I was cleaning it off, it, uh, it was actually slicing through the paper uh, fairly well. Um, this is pretty thin paper, but... To give an idea, I'll actually fold the paper in half and just see if I can get, there we go, it's kind of cut down. You know, it's not the sharpest thing in the world, but it's sharp enough, I'll tell you that much. Um, and it feels good. A gl Gladius feel good in the hand. Um, again, I think it's because of the, the, the short size and the weight of it uh, always feels real nice. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of, of smaller swords. Uh, as much as I use long swords, as much as I enjoy a good claymore, um, broadsword or great sword, uh, not broadsword, great sword. I, I like the claymore broadswords as well, but the, the great sword variation with the quatrefoil. Um, as much as I like those, uh, there's something to be said for just an ultra mo mobile, very small uh, sword that uh, is just as lethal, uh, but certainly much more a close quarters weapon. And something that, um, again, distills a sword down to really its bare bone basics, uh, which I think this is a pretty good example of. Um, yeah, I like Gladius. They're a lot of fun. All right, well, uh, that's kind of my first impression. I don't really have much more to, to say about it, uh, other than just what, I, what I've said here, and I, I really... Um, I'm looking forward to maybe actually doing a review of a Gladius at some point. If I'm going to do a proper review of one, it'll probably be this one, because uh, this is this is the, the Gladius I've been waiting for, and I'm really, really glad that Windless put it on sale, because I don't know that I always got on my way to purchase uh, yet another one, but they put it on sale, one of the deal of the days, and I was really happy because I wanted this one. So, uh, yeah, it's a good sword. It comes with a pretty nice scabbard. I will say that one side of the scabbard is very decorated, or decorated while the other one's just kind of... Uh, not meant to be seen. That's fine. You'd be wearing, wearing it on your hip anyway. Um, but it, it's a very interesting design and uh, and a beautiful sword overall, especially for the price uh, that I got it at. But really, I think even at their basic asking retail price, if you like Roman style weapons, if you like the good Gladius, um, this might be a good one as a budget option. So there you go. Cheers, guys.